Hi guys, welcome back to the shed. Uh, it's absolutely freezing cold outside, it's actually snowing. So uh, I thought I'd get on with a little something. Something I want to show you, I've picked it up on the internet. Uh, I was looking at some uh, Del Boy videos uh, and a couple of other posts online and they suggest you can reuse some rusty bolts. So I've got some, some bolts, which I'll show you in a second. I'll show you how to do it, so stay tuned. So uh, these are the bolts off my um, Suzuki and these ones are off the front um, fender. And if, it's always these ones that seem to rust the most. You clean them off and uh, the rust comes back. But uh, in this time, in this case, I'm going to show you a way that you can clean them off and potentially should keep the rust off for years to come. So these are the things you're going to need. So you're going to need a wire brush of some description, some uh, some <laughs> old engine oil. You're going to need something to put the engine oil in. And you're going to need one of those. Okay. Uh, so you need to empty some old oil into your container. That's probably enough. Next step is going to be you need to clean the rust off of these uh, with a wire wheel or wire brush. Clean them up as best you can. And then we'll go to the next stage. I'll come back to you once I've cleaned all the bolts off. Right, so now that all your bolts are clean, you want to set up your work surface so that there's nothing flammable, nothing can catch fire anywhere. I've got these long handled clips here. These clamps will hold the, the bolts nice and securely and uh, everything's out of the way. So heat and then drop the, the bolt into here. There's a specific way you're supposed to do this. So I'll fire up the torch and I'll show you the next step. Okay, so the trick here, get your bolt and do this one-handed. So bear with me. So you get the bolt and the idea is to heat this up to uh, a dull cherry red. Uh, the idea being that when you dunk it in the oil, um, the carbons in the oil, the used oil, it will turn it black and weatherproof it. So you want to put it in the hotter part of the flame and observe the colour change. Alright, right, so it's turning black now. It's burning off any excess oil on there. Getting there. Yeah, it's turning now. That's about it. Right. And then and dunk it in. Go to the next one. It's gonna get really smoky guys. Again, put it in.
keep it in the hot part of the flame. Starts to change colour. do all these and then I'll get back to you in a second. That's all the bolts, the washers um, and all the everything basically is gone in this oil now. So we'll leave that for a few minutes to cool down and then we'll drain the oil off into the pot. So this is what we're looking at now. Um, now this is also known as chemical bluing or metal bluing. You see, if you look closely at uh, some of it, you, it's a varying degree of bluing. Um, now, I don't know if that's down to the heat. Um, I haven't had that much experience at doing it. The process does work with spring clips, um, hose clips and stuff like that. Anything really, you've just got to clean it off first. Um, it's worth a little experiment anyway. So if you've got any old bolts that you want to clean up, uh, and stuff like that. This is how you do it. So uh, I hope that's been of some use to some of you It's a reasonably short video, but I just wanted to put that one out there for any of you that haven't already seen it on Del Boy's channel or Any of the other channels that have already done it. Anyway, great. Um, I'll catch you in the next video. Take it easy. Thanks for watching. See you soon